Conservation and Sustainable Development As human populations continue to increase, we will continue to impact the biosphere in negative ways. The study of ecology has helped humans to understand how healthy ecosystems function to supply the earth with resources needed to support life. We must use principles of conservation and sustainable development to care for and maintain our home. Conservation Conservation involves the management of natural resources and the protection of communities in order to preserve healthy functioning ecosystems. Conservation practices include regulating the use of resources, restoring damaged environments, and protecting habitats from human alteration. Land conservation. Methods for land and soil conservation include planting windbreaks, rotating crops, terrace farming or contour plowing, leaving roots and stems in the ground, and replanting forests. This red pine forest was replanted 21 years ago. Water conservation. Methods of water conservation include preserving the fresh water supply by preventing pollutants from being dumped into rivers and streams, restoring wetlands that help purify water, employing methods that prevent the waste of fresh water like drip irrigation, reusing gray water or dirty water for flushing toilets or watering gardens, and using low flow shower heads and toilets and high efficiency washing machines. Atmosphere conservation. Methods of conserving air resources include reducing use of chemicals that pollute or damage the atmosphere, removing pollutants by using afterburners or catalytic converters when burning fossil fuels, reducing the amount of fossil fuels used. This is a public bicycle rental station in Lyon, France. Decreasing automobile use decreases fossil fuels in the atmosphere. Biodiversity conservation. Methods of conserving biodiversity include protecting habitats by banning dumping of waste or urban development, reserving land for national parks, forests, and marine sanctuaries, and helping prevent species extinction by establishing breeding programs for endangered species. Energy conservation. Methods of conserving energy include reducing energy consumption by walking, biking, or taking public transportation, and increasing use of energy efficient products and building design. Think about it. Choose one aspect of conservation and construct three guidelines for your school to follow. Think about your daily experiences at school and the things you see around you every day. What can you easily do to promote conservation? Think about it. Choose one aspect of conservation and construct three guidelines for your school to follow. Answers will vary, but here's an example with energy conservation. Turning off the lights in a room when you are the last one exiting it. In bathrooms, switch from paper towels to air drying fans. Switch to energy saving light bulbs. And turn down the thermostat during the winter a couple degrees. Sustainable development. In order for ecosystems to maintain a healthy balance, consumption of natural resources must equal the environment's ability to replenish them. Sustainable development is a pattern of resource use and production that meets human needs while preserving the well-being of the environment. Sustainable development. Alternative energy resources must be developed to meet our energy requirements sustainably. These alternative energy resources must reduce the amount of carbon being harnessed from the ground and transformed into carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. Some options include hydropower, nuclear power, biofuels, solar power, and wind power. Sustainable development. Biofuels are fuels derived from biomass like agricultural crops. They include ethanol and other forms of biodiesel. The pros are that it is renewable, and it emits less carbon dioxide than fossil fuels. The cons are that growing biofuel crops reduces the world's food supply, and producing biofuels requires large amounts of energy. It's a lot easier to obtain ethanol from the starch-based crops like the ones seen here in this picture, and you could also get ethanol from the cellulose-based crops, but it's a much more involved process. And as we said, when you use these starch-based crops, which are easier to produce ethanol from, 
You're taking away food that could be used to feed hungry mouths. Sustainable development. Nuclear energy is energy produced by nuclear fission. The pros are that it produces high amounts of energy and it also reduces carbon emissions. The cons are that it can expose humans and other organisms to harmful nuclear radiation and nuclear waste takes thousands of years to degrade and must be safely stored. On another note, there is a process called nuclear fusion that the sun uses to uh, form helium from hydrogen. And this process of combining atoms together to make higher elements releases an enormous amount of energy. And if scientists could somehow figure out how to do that, we would not have to worry about energy at all. It would be an almost infinite supply of energy. But this technology is not yet available. Hopefully someday. Sustainable development. In addition to utilizing sustainable forms of energy, sustainable materials that support our lifestyle must also be developed. Biomimicry refers to the use of natural models, systems, and processes to design products and solve problems. For example, Velcro was inspired by the tiny hooks found on cockleburrs. Sustainable development. Green building design creates buildings with innovative design ideas that minimize energy usage. Many of these innovations are inspired by nature. For example, a building with a green roof will have a roof that's covered in vegetation, and the vegetation will help to insulate the building, stop the hot air from escaping during the wintertime, and also keep it cooler during the summertime, because traditional building materials tend to absorb heat, and hence you have an urban heating effect where it's a little warmer in cities. Green Building This building is the Cleveland Environmental Center. It's one good example of a building that is environmentally friendly. Click on the link to learn more. Sustainable Development Some types of waste are biodegradable and can be naturally broken down by organisms that live in the soil. One aspect of sustainable development involves creating new products that are biodegradable so that the permanent waste does not accumulate and degrade in the environment. What some people could do with their homes is use uh, compost, take all their waste, compost it, and then add it to the soil of their gardens, helping their plants grow by giving nutrients back to the soil. Sustainable Development Bioplastics are plastics that are made from organic materials instead of oil. The advantage of using these plastics is that they will recycle CO2 captured by plants rather than producing more CO2 after they are made from fossil fuels and burned. In the diagram here on the left, we see in traditional oil-based plastics that the raw materials from the oil uh, produce the plastic, the resin, and then incinerated, producing more CO2 that was originally in the ground as oil. In plant-based plastics, the raw materials come from the plants, uh, the plastic is made, and then when the plastic is done being used and it's burned, the CO2 being produced was originally captured by the plants. So we have no more CO2 than what was there before, it was recycled. Sustainable Development Micromitis is a biotechnology company in California that is using organic material from wastewater treatment plants as feedstock for bacteria that can naturally metabolize it and create bioplastics as a byproduct. Great job!